I am trying to make a roguelike in Unreal Engine. But how did I get to this point? One day I was playing Risk of Rain. Throughout the game an idea hit me. What if I take the game mechanics of Risk of Rain and combine it with the first person perspective? Then adding my own ideas and make it a game. Yeah, this could be so much fun. So I thought. To make it clear, I'm a game developer noob. I can't code anything besides typing print hello world. So I asked myself, how can I make a game without needing to code? Oh. <laughs> no! 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 Don't get me wrong, Unreal Engine is a very good way to handle the boring lines of code, but I think the engine is made for more realistic games. In a roguelike you have many enemies, many items, many effects, and I don't think Unreal Engine likes that. I know that you can handle these things by optimizing them like object pooling, behavior trees, flipbook animations, and so on. But these methods are very hard to master for me. For an example, in my game I want to make a time-based enemy wave system, but I am running into big performance issues because of the many enemies I'm spawning. I've tried literally everything, but I will keep on trying to solving this issue. If you know how to fix this, I'm open for advice in the comments. But let's get back to the beginning. As I started this project, I noticed that the standard Unreal Engine movement was really bad. I wanted it to be smooth and fast paced, not that stiff and slow. So I made the movement better. The first thing I started changing was the max speed for a sprinting mechanic. Oh, okay, that's way too fast. As I was playing, I noticed that the air control is a bit slow. So I cranked up the value to make it feel like I'm straving. As I went on, I saw a YouTube video that showed me how to make the camera tilt with my walking direction. I was so impressed, I had to implement it to my game. Shoutouts to JJ Rally for this very good video. After that, I added some head bobbing for the idle, walking and running state. For the next mechanic, I wanted to add sliding. Because I'm too dumb to code it myself, I asked ChatGPT to help me out. It was a tough task, but I managed it to get it working. I got really exhausted of developing and stopped on this project for a week. But I came back stronger. And this time I've managed to do many things, but it took me way longer than I thought. The first thing I managed to add was wall running. I also got this from a tutorial that I saw on YouTube. Again some shoutouts to Defenestration. As I finished the tutorial, I checked if it would work, but every time I got stuck on the wall. To make it easy to understand, this function creates hitboxes that locate if you are next to the wall or not. If the hitboxes do not overlap with the walls, the wall run will not be triggered. If I explain this more in detail, the video will be very long. So the problem was that my hitboxes were too short, because I changed some values in the hitbox creation. My stupid ass didn't notice that, so I tested everything out to fix this. After a long time, I changed the right values and got it working. The good thing is, I can fully customize these functions, so if I need to change something in the future, it will be very easy. After all this, I've had enough of the movement features and wanted to do something different. Now it was the time to think about the character's appearance. For the first design, I thought about a ninja with a cyberpunk aesthetic. You could call him a ninja cyborg. I don't think this will be the main character, but for now I want to create a 3D model with this design. The problem to that is, the character I've imagined is way too detailed and needs a lot of skill to be modeled. Because I'm not that good in modeling, I've only created a basic human body that I can animate. The modeling itself was not that hard, because I already had decent knowledge in Blender. The model is not perfect, but right now it does its job. For the animating part, I took the human skeleton from the Rigify plugin. As I was animating, I noticed that if I was playing my game with this model, I wouldn't see anything. Because I'm in first person, the head from the model would be in the way. 
As for now, I removed the body and the head. Afterwards, I added the katana. I've exported the animations and pasted them into my game. Now I needed to make an animation blueprint. I've made two animations for the katana swing to give the attack a bit more variation. After a bit of work, I got the animations to function, but at the end I noticed that something was missing. I needed sword trails. I don't know anything about the effects in Unreal Engine and how they work. So I searched for a guide and reworked it. For the sword trail you needed a texture that displays the trail itself. I got into Photoshop and made one that I thought would look cool. Then I've changed up the color and tested it out. It was perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. That's the progress I've made so far. Now the game is only at its early state. But I'm very motivated to continue this project in the future. If you have any ideas that would fit into the game, let me know in the comment section. Or else in my Discord server that I've made for the game. So if you are interested in this project, join my Discord server and subscribe for more videos.